I wonder what's in today's mailbox. The box got so wrecked. Okay, we have some bubble wrap, some peanuts. No note. No note, how rude. And a cardboard cylinder, and more cardboard. That's gonna get dangerous here real quick. Yeah, we should probably put this away now. Uh, ooh, there it is. This is a magnet that was sent to us by one of you guys, thank you. And he said that this magnet has a lifting force of 400 pounds? Did you say licking force? A licking force? Can you test that? Oh yeah, that's 400. What's something that we can do with this? Um, I was thinking I'm under 400 pounds, so maybe we try to do a pull-up hanging from it. Hey look, there's a forklift already. We are so prepared. <laughs> Just watch, watch the fingers. Okay, and then slide the cardboard out. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> Then attach the pull-up bar. You just shattered it. That's why we had the... Oh yeah, you did. That's why I had the cardboard, okay? I don't think that's gonna hold. And... Oh! 400 pounds of lifting force? That's... Okay, I've been eating a little bit, actually. <laughs> now we're never gonna get that off. Like, that's not budget. <laughs> Just don't hit yourself in the face with a giant piece of steel. <laughs> <crap> <laughs> there we go. Well, maybe this is just too thin, so what if we stuck it to the fork down here, and then we just got that bar off though, so now we gotta put the bar back on. So this is definitely sticking better already. There we go. Watch your thumb. Okay, there we go. I think it's good right there. <laughs> He's a good few feet up. So I'm fairly close to 400 pounds, so I think that proves that. Science. So we heard that if you get a iron fortified cereal, blend it all up, add water to it, these magnets can pull all the iron out of the cereal. Is that fortified? Um, Reinforced with iron? It's got 100% of your daily value of iron. This is about 12 cups of cereal blender. So we should be able to get 1200% of your daily iron out of that. Yep. Something I saw on the internet had you do this for a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> work it, work it. Ooh, see that? There it is. There's some of it. After six days of doing this, that's about all the iron that you would need for 12 days. So in X-Men, he like pulls all the iron out of that dude's like body and it like kills him and then he uses it to like shoot holes through his like plastic prison or whatever. Like the amount of metal that he pulls out of that dude is like... That morning he must have had like three boxes of cereal for breakfast and had been doing that like every morning for the previous like four months and that's how he had that much iron so there's some fun movie trivia for you. The plan is you've got a north and a south pole or a north and south or you've got two poles and when we cut it in half it's going to... how did you explain that? So we're going to cut it in half and it's going to create a new north and a new south pole and then it's going to, we think it's going to like spin itself around it. It's going to do something cool, right? I'm actually thinking they'll be attracted to themselves because north and south would attract. Okay, that's not what you said. I, I'm, that's what I was thinking. I think it'll do nothing. You think it'll do nothing? Yeah. If only there's a way we could find out.
That may just become part of the tank now. Have you found your aluminium yet? No. How about a wood pry bar? Oh, we can't get it in there. We need something to get under it, I think. It's just gonna flop over onto the front of the tank and shatter. It's gonna get in my eyes. Safety squints. You're gonna smash your hand off, dude. You have a belt <laughs> <on. laughs> Don't set it next to the other one. Okay. It's about time we clean out the tank. Yep. First method for cleaning out the tank involves removing all of these slats and getting a backhoe in here and shoveling out all the sand. Then we got something called an extractor, and this was sent to us by extractor. It uses a pump, it sucks out everything through that tube, all the sandy stuff stays in there, and then it pumps all the water back in. And when you dump it out, it makes a funny noise. So this thing works pretty good, but what if we use magnets to clean out the tank? Because there's a lot of metal stuff in there. Introducing the magnet tank cleaner. Attach it to this. I'm scared. Just do it. Ah. And then dip that in the tank. Come on, let's go for a meteorite ring. Where's those pieces of meteorite? It's been like 30 minutes and all we've come up with is some plywood. We found parts of that motorcycle that we cut. Uh, we found the dinosaur. Looks like he's been bouncing around down there for a while and got all cut up. Uh, a bunch of wood, a bunch of red circles. Oh, this is a piece of a door. But nothing really metallic. All we were able to pull up was uh, this, this metal-y stuff. That turns into paste. What is going on? I thought for sure that was just going to explode when we tried to Oh boy, since uh, piercing it wasn't satisfying enough, we are going to smash it with a giant stainless steel plug and see what the high speed of that is like. Broke. Huh. So that one was all right, but you couldn't see a lot. So this one, we're gonna stand the magnet up on its end. Try it again. Well, that was kind of disappointing, but if you watch our videos a lot, you're probably used to that by now. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about magnets. Uh, is there anything you want to add to that? Sight.